<clears throat> hey everybody, it's Carol with Refunction Crafts, and today I'm <clears throat> I'm going to bring you a video on. I've got all these bits and pieces here that I'm going to be using, um, and what I'm going to be doing is putting together another one of these little heart ornaments, and I think they're just absolutely stunning. I've got lots of pretty bits and pieces on there that I got. Uh, I got this from Kiki's. And I got this applique from um, uh, trim from Gail over at Fava of Four, and this also this um, gold bit is from an applique that she sent me, and just some different blingy pieces that I've kind of gotten all over. I got these; um, these are I think polymer clay roses, and um, just bits and pieces that I've gotten from all over. And so I'm going to, um, this is the one I've already made, and then I'm going to go ahead and make one from scratch. So what I did is I did cut this piece out, uh, this image, to fit on this heart. I don't know how I did that, but that kind of got a little twisted there, but that's okay, it's fine. Um, so anyway, I did cut this piece out so that I could use it at the center of the heart. So I just kind of fitted that in there. I've already put a hole. I put my own hole in this. And again, I used my little goodie here to punch through it and put that hole in there. And it worked just great. So um, I know a bunch of you told me what it was called in my other video. And I can't remember now for the life of me. But... Um, most of you probably know what it's called. Uh, so anyway, we're just going to go ahead and get started on this since I've got my piece all cut out here and ready to go. These are just our little accessories that we're going to uh, be putting on it. So uh, first things first, I need to decoupage this image onto the heart. So I'm going to get my, my decoupage out or my Mod Podge. And... Trying to open this <laughs> paintbrush. I had to take a new one out because my other one is in another room. And my friend Sherry just sent me a great little water thing that she got. I think she got it from um, Dollar Tree to put your brushes in. And it's just got a little hole at the top. And then you can put your brushes through that hole so that they don't fall over and, and spill or what, what have you. So um, really cool little tool. I just haven't taken it out and tried it yet. <laughs> and I should have it sitting in front of me as we speak because I'm using my paintbrush here. And I'm just going to try and get that fitted on there just right. And anything that's hanging over the edge I can just quickly cut off with my scissors. Didn't have to be on there perfectly, so I just wanted to get the basic uh, cut right. So I'm just going to go along the edge here and just cut off this extra paper that's sticking over the edge just like that and there we go she's on there and we're ready to start embellishing this I am not painting Mod Podge over the top of her um, just so that you guys know, I'm not doing it because once I'm all done with this, I'm going to take my resin, my UV resin, and I'm going to put that over the top of it because as you guys have seen in my other boxes, I like the finish that I get when I put the UV resin over the top of my uh, images. So, <clears throat> and I don't get the yellowing and all of that that comes with other uh, sealers. So, let's go ahead and let's 
see how we want to do this. The first thing I'm going to do is I am going to use this beautiful trim that my friend Rhonda sent me. I had gotten some from my other friend Carol as well. I used all of hers and now I'm using what Rhonda sent me and I'm going to be using that all up shortly. <laughs> I don't know how I go through this kind of stuff so fast but I, I have my favorites and once I find a favorite of something, then I tend to use it and use it and use it till it's gone, and it's usually gone quite quickly. So I'm just trying to see which way this is supposed to go. I think it's supposed to go... this way. Okay. So let's go ahead and start adding that trim on. And this trim will go on really, really nicely and it'll lay nicely. And I've used it on a couple of uh, boxes and things that I've done already. And wow, it just, it's really nice. It goes wherever you want it to go and when, in whatever direction you want it to go in. So <laughs> I am really enjoying this trim. But once it's gone, it's gone. <clears throat> I start getting a little bit fussier over time as to what I will put things like this on once I start getting low then it's like okay it's gonna have to be something pretty awesome for me to use it something that just has to have this trim <laughs> and I thought this heart really needed to have this trim that image is just so beautiful and this is going to be a beautiful vintagey looking ornament and I just felt like it needed something really nice to to set off the edges and we're gonna cut this and try not to get it to unravel too much let me pick it up so I can see what I'm doing here I'm gonna cut it right there and I'm going to very quickly glue it down to the bottom piece there and hold it in place so that it doesn't go anywhere. And you can see there's a little line right here where the image doesn't come over the whole heart. That's okay because that's, that area is going to be covered up. So we're not worried about that. But look at how pretty that trim does look on that heart. Isn't that gorgeous? I just love it. I thought about putting some lace on there as well because I did get this pretty lace from um, Debbie over at Kiki's. But then when I started to kind of put it around, I'm not sure if it just is too much, but we may be checking that out after I get all of the other stuff on it we may be checking that out in the end to see if if I want to go that route um, but I've got so many other pretty embellishments to put on it that I don't want to take it too far because I'm also planning on using a piece isn't that gorgeous you guys I'm gonna try and figure out how I can use a piece of this to go on there and just kind of go across part of it. I need to look at this and see how I want it to go. Just kind of like that on one side. So I think I'm just going to hold that down and I'll take my scissors and just start sort of trimming it where I think it needs to be trimmed. And hopefully it won't just turn into a big old mess. this part and go around that curly cue. Let's see. Oh, 
Okay, I got the basics there, so now I just need to sort of cut it down a little bit. I just thought this was so pretty. I only got this very small piece of this. This is all I have. Um, but I thought it was so pretty, and it really could be a nice little addition to this heart. So I'm just going for it. It may take me a minute to get it exactly the way I want it, but I think it's it's going to kind of overlap a little bit, and that's okay too. off. And it's going to go just like that. So now, just to make sure I get it on there nicely, I'm only going to put little dots of glue sort of around on this to stick it down a little bit. And some of the glue that's going to be on some of the other bits and pieces will kind of go through this and stick it down even more. So, there. Look how pretty that looks. Isn't that gorgeous? So, next we're going to take some of this pretty trim. I think I'm just going to use, since I'm using this gold piece, I don't need a lot of this. I'm going to use this for sure. And I think that's going to go kind of up in this corner here and then maybe what I'll do is I'll take this and kind of have it coming down yeah yep I think that's what I'm gonna do let's just see which piece of this I want to use I'm gonna use this piece it's a little bit bigger and we're gonna put it right there Just like that. And I have a little piece I want to cut off of this that's hanging over the edge there. And I'm going to tuck that up under there. Yeah, maybe I'll do it kind of on top. just don't want it to go over the flower petals on this applique. There we go. And then I think I'm going to cut off these little flowers. And I'm going to separate those two and put one there. That's what I love about these appliques and things because you can cut them up and get so much out of them that you never even would have thought possible if you were someone who never had to deal with only having a little bit of stuff at one time. I mean, my early days, man, I had almost nothing to craft with. And so I made every little piece count for something and I would use just the tiniest things. I would save every little rhinestone that fell out of something, what have you. I saved it. And I want to use a little bit of this pretty uh, gold stamen trim. I call it stamen. I, that's what I think it is. So that's what I'm calling it.
And I just want you all to know, and I, you all know it already. You don't. I don't have to tell you. I am an amateur crafter. I am not a professional. I do this because I love it, and it makes me happy, and I enjoy teaching other people people to do the things that I've learned to do or that I'm learning to do. Um, I don't care if I'm just learning how to do something and if you've, you know, if somebody watches and they've been doing it a long time, that's great too. I'm, I'm, that is awesome because I know a lot of the things that I do have been around for ages. Um, people have been doing it and I've, you know, seen it all in the past as well. But I don't claim to be a pro in any way, shape, or form. So you guys need to know, you know, if you're looking for someone that is, you know, a complete pro at this, I'm not that girl. I'm just doing the best I can with what I have to work with. So, <laughs> um, but I'm having a lot of fun doing it, and I really hope you guys are enjoying it as, as much as I do. Um... Because it really, it really is a lot of fun. And I enjoy teaching. Um, in my... Um, career, I was teaching, um, you know, hospice volunteers, you know, how to um, work with hospice patients and things like that. So I got, a, I got a lot of enjoyment out of that because a lot of the people I was training were students and things um, from the local colleges and they were doing the volunteer work to get their volunteer hours for school and such so I really used to enjoy working with the students a lot because they were so fun and fresh and you know untainted <laughs> You know, and so it really was a lot of fun doing that. And so I really love doing this. Keeps me busy and it keeps me uh, happy. So I just wish everybody could just do what makes them happy in their life and enjoy their work. Because there's nothing like being able to enjoy the work that you do. And I'm debating on these leaves, but I do I do kind of like them with these flowers. They kind of they look really pretty. And then the other thing is, is I was actually considering using both of those trims on there. It does look very pretty, but I think that just kind of takes away from some of the other embellishments. So I'm not going to do that this time. I'm just going to keep it simple. So I'm just gluing these two leaves together and then I think I'm going to put those down I think like right about there and then use these two pretty beige roses right there. I think that's what I'm going to do, you guys. Or do I want to come down here a little bit more? Let's see. Let me look at this down here one more time. I think I'm going to go down lower with this. I think that looks really nice. So we'll put these right there. And then I just took the back sides of these off a little bit so that they wouldn't sit so high because I don't like if they're too pointy on the bottom side and they sit off of the project too far. I don't like that. So I wanted to flatten them out on the bottom a little bit. Okay, and then I've got a little, just a little bit of bling here. I think I'm just going to bring a very little bit into it. I'm going to put that right there. And this just came off of a little barrette that I bought at a little local store. It had 
like four of these pieces on it and so I bought the barrette so that I could get four pieces of bling out of it so you guys know I use a lot of jewelry and things to get my bling but most of my bling this is something I got from Kiki's isn't that gorgeous it's a little rhinestone piece and it's a dangle this was an earring and I just cut the backing off of it and we're gonna actually have this dangling from the bottom and it's gonna really really be so pretty and with that we're gonna use a little bit of E6000 and a little bit of hot glue because I do want to make sure that that stays And I also have my hole that I need to put, I need to poke through here. So let's see, I'm looking for something sharp. Here we go. Where's that hole? Right. Whoa, right there. And I stuck that right through my finger. That was nice. <laughs> Alright, let me, oh, there they are. There we go. That's what I was looking for in the first place. <laughs> so now I'm going to take that and I've got, um, I know I have some pretty, I'm going to use this gold uh, ribbon here, it's not really ribbon, whatever you call this stuff that they use on ornaments. And I'm just going to put this through the hole because it's nice and thin and it'll go through this hole easily. I can grab it from the other side and I'm going to take my loop and I'm just going to put these two pieces through the loop and pull it through and it's catching right on those pearls and that's okay and then I'm just gonna put a little knot in the, at the top here this is gonna be a short hanger I don't know we'll see when I get it done I may end up having to change it and use something else but I really wanted to use the gold I gotta put this closer to me you guys so that I can tie this knot my fingers are just really too chubby to do this <laughs> I don't have those narrow long thin fingers like some of you probably do <laughs> they're they're chubby I call them my little sausage fingers Okay, I got it. Cut off the little top piece there. And I think I also want to add this little um, little set of keys. I want to have these dangling. And I think what I want to do, I'm going to cut off the, the earring post. And I think I'm going to have it hanging right here next to where the hole is. Yeah, that's going to be really, really pretty. And I'll take and do, again, a little dot of E6000 here. And a dot of hot glue. And I'm going to put the hot glue right on the back side of this. And let me pick this up so that I can get it exactly where I want it and 
and that looks really pretty on there. There we go. I feel like I want it to go just a tad bit higher up on there. because that way it can kind of hang down nicely. It won't be getting stuck on the flowers. There. Okay, so that's it, you guys. That came out so, so, so pretty. I just love it. Let me move this stuff out of the way. And I'll move my Lazy Susan so that I can get this dark background behind it. And we'll just lay her down right there. Okay, so that's our piece, and then this is the other one that I did before, and they're both gorgeous, and so there you have it, you guys, um, easy peasy ornaments, and you don't have to go with stars and, and reindeers and Santa Clauses to decorate for Christmas, you can go with hearts, these are Christmas hearts. So um, give it a shot, you guys. These are just the little flat wooden hearts. You can buy them at any craft store just about and um, in little packages or what have you. And make your own, or you can go over to my Etsy shop. I'll leave the link down below. And if you want to purchase one or more of these, you are more than welcome to um, head over to my Etsy shop and do that as well. So anyway, I want to thank you all for watching my video today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would so greatly appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can get notified when I do future videos. And um, leave a comment down below. Let me know if you liked this video, if you enjoyed it, or if you enjoyed the, the final piece. And um, I will be putting pictures on the back end. Don't forget about the... Uh, Etsy giveaway, if you spend $50 or more, I will be doing a raffle and giving away um, one of my Lazy Susans and a hand-turned pen. Um, so that'll be available. And um, in my YouTube giveaway, I'm going to be giving away a beautiful, beautiful box. And that will be this box here. So you need to make sure that you go to part one of my um, my giveaway videos. There's part one and part two. You need to make your comments in part one in order to be a part of the uh, raffle. So make sure that when you're making your comments, you pay attention to whether or not you're in part one or part two. You need to go to part one and just make any comment that you'd like. It doesn't have to be a special word or anything like that. Just make a comment. Um, and you will be part of the raffle. So anyways, um, I hope you guys, and in fact, look at the image on this box is the same one we used on this heart. So isn't that gorgeous? Um, so anyways, you all have a great day. Be blessed, and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.